In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the basics of tuning the speed and throttle controller in RG Pilot Rover 3.4 and higher. Uh, the vehicle that I'm going to use is this uh, Thunder Tiger uh, Hilux RC car. It has a Cube Autopilot in it, and for telemetry, I'm using the ESP8266 uh, Wi Fi board from Adafruit. Uh, I've also got a uh, transmitter here, a Catawba transmitter, and I'm going to be using the uh, Mission Planner uh, ground station. Now the most important parameters to get right for the speed and throttle control is the cruise speed and the cruise throttle. These two parameters together, they form the basis of the speed and throttle control. So the first thing to do is to set up a auxiliary switch so that you can capture the speed th throttle and speed cruise uh, values while driving the vehicle. So I've connected the ground station to my vehicle uh, using Wi-Fi. Then I go to the config tuning basic tuning screen and set the channel 7 option drop down to learn cruise speed and press right params. So it's armed, it's in manual, and now I drive it. That's top speed of the vehicle. I don't want to do its top speed. A little bit less than its top speed is good. And that is it. I'm going to flick the switch and it should have just captured the speed. And now I can see on the ground station a little message has popped up saying that uh, it recorded a cruise speed of 1.4 meters per second and a cruise throttle of 69%. Next step is we drive the vehicle up and down the street in acro mode, which uses the uh, throttle and speed controller, and then we see in real time uh, how well the speed controller is doing. Go to the config tuning screen, then the full parameter tree, then in the search box on the right type in GCS PID mask and set the value to 2 for throttle and then push the right parameters button. Then back on the flight data screen click on the tuning checkbox on the bottom and then when the graph appears double click on it and make sure that PID achieved and PID desired are selected. I've armed the vehicle in hold mode now I switch it into acro. So now I'm driving it up and down the street in acro mode and I want to adjust the speed up and down to see how well it's performing. Now the turning, we haven't tuned that yet, so, so that's not doing very well, but the speed control itself is not too bad. Full speed, I can see that the I drop the speed down, I can see the blue line falls. If I increase the speed, the blue line goes up, and the red line is mostly tracking. Go down, increase it. For the most part, as I increase and decrease the, uh, the throttle stick, the desired and actual speeds are moving up and down together. So if the controller wasn't doing a good job, what I would do is I'd come over to this config tuning, basic tuning page, and then I would start adjusting these speed to throttle gains. So in particular, um, if the achieve wasn't reaching the desired quickly, I might increase the P and the I together. Uh, if the throttle was a bit jumpy, I might reduce these both together. Normally it's fine to just leave the D as zero. And uh, same with IMAX, you can normally just leave that at one. One other little adjustment that I've made is I've reduced the maximum acceleration from the default of two meters per second per second down to one meter per second per second. And that causes the vehicle to accelerate and decelerate a little more smoothly than before. The other parameter that I've changed is I've turned on the brake. And what that does is it means that as the vehicle is coming to a halt, if it's slowing down too slowly, then the controller will actually uh, basically put a reverse throttle in to bring the vehicle to a stop faster. So I hope this has been helpful and has given some you know, basic advice on getting the speed and throttle controller working.